Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a Magic Mail haul video. So I took a little bit of time off YouTube last week uh, because I was really, really busy um, with work and I got to catch up with one of my best friends. So I didn't really record anything. And when I came to actually film a video, I sort of looked around me in my office and realized how many packages that I had received over the last week or so. So I thought I would share with you what I got. To start with, we're gonna go with these ears. So I did share these on my Instagram story. So if you do follow me, you will have seen them. Um, and you will know that I'm a little bit obsessed with them. So I love ears. Ears are the thing I buy most, I'd say. Ears and spirit jerseys. I just can't help myself. Uh, but yes, yeah, so these are the uh, American flag Mickey or mini ears. Um, and they've got the satin headband with land that I love on the side and then the stars and the stripes on the ears with the big puffy bow. I have said before I'm not a fan of a puffy bow normally but I really like these, I just think they're so cute. I'm really really tempted by the um, stars and stripes backpack, the lounge fly backpack um, to go with them but that might have to wait for a little while because I keep I just keep buying things and I'm now running out of money so yeah that one might have to wait but yeah the ears were a really really good deal I think they only cost me £23 shipped from America so I'm not going to complain at that so yeah that was the first thing that I had delivered and then the next thing I'm going to show you is something else that I'm wearing and this is um, for Magical Day Apparel and it's my first order with them I've loved so many of the designs that they've released but I've just not got around to purchasing and then when they released this one I was like yeah that's the one so it's the Mickey sunflower wreath and uh, it's just on a plain white t-shirt which I love because I'm a big fan of a white t-shirt uh, but yeah it's quite loose and oversized fit but I just love the little pocket design I think it's so cute it's quite simple, so it's good for everyday Disney as well as when you're in the parks. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love it. I don't think it will be my last order from them. Um, definitely not, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. I think it's just a really comfy t-shirt on as well, which is really, really good. So the next thing that we have are some prints. And these are from A Wonderful Thought Co. And it is the Steamboat, Willy, Mickey and Minnie prints. And I absolutely love these. They're so cute. I'm just currently waiting for the range to restock plain black frames. Because I've been to three different ranges and they don't have them in. Um, and they're out of stock online as well, which is really annoying. But to match everything else in this room, they need to just be plain black. And then you can sort of see the three prints I have up here. These two are going to go beneath them, and I just love them. So yeah, so these are Wonderful Thought Co. And I think they're really reasonably priced as well. Um, what I will do is I'll drop a link below to uh, their Instagram store. Um, but yeah, you should check them out because they've got so many gorgeous prints. The next thing we have are some more ears. So I got these from a Disneyland Paris shopper, um, Addicted to Disney I believe they are called. And I got the, the Belle bronze ears. Now I'm not 100% sure how much these were in the parks, um, but I know they went into the sale when Disneyland Paris reopened. They had a really, really good sale on and I know these did go into it. Um, but I paid £14.95 for these um, to be delivered in the UK, so I was really pleased with that. Um, I think they are available again on Shop Disney for £20, which isn't too bad for a pair of Parks ears. And I just love these ones, they're so pretty. I like them because they're sort of understated as well, um, but yeah, we've got those ones. I also bought another pair. I'm not even actually too sure if I like these or not. I kind of like them for one reason and kind of like don't like them for another but I got the new range um, bright blue ears with the neon yellow bow. Now there's quite a lot of debate on Instagram with whether people say this is yellow or green and to me this is definitely yellow. But I love the blue but I'm not actually sure of my feelings on the bow. Well one it's a puffy bow and again puffy bows aren't my fave but this is sort of really like squished puffy. 
um, but they are cute and I like to have something from each collection that Disney release so at least I've got something and the best thing about these is if you've watched my Disney ear collection video you'll know I really really hate tags on ears because they just sort of flap around I mean these ones actually I can't actually see the tag on these so I've done a really good job of hiding them in my hair um, but normally you've got these stupid long tags sticking out on them but but on these ones you will see there is no tag obviously there's the tag they haven't took off yet but there is no fabric tag they've put it at the back and I'm really happy about this like I don't know how everyone else feels I mean I don't really think it affects people's lives like it affects mine but I just think that is such a better place for them than that so yeah I mean I don't cut the tags off anyway I just like to complain about them but I wouldn't have to even worry about them if they were on the back so hopefully Disney will continue to do this we'll see so yeah, so those are my two pairs of Parkses from Disneyland Paris. The next things I've got, now technically, technically these aren't Magic Mail. Because I actually got to pick these up from my bestie Emily. Uh, obviously, you will probably already know, Emily is the owner of Kingdom Threads Co. And I came away with um, three t-shirts and a jumper, so I did pretty well. So the first one is a light blue tee and it has a Mickey balloon on the front in pink. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a little bit obsessed with Mickey balloons. So when Emily told me she was bringing a balloon design out, I had to have it. There was no questions asked. Um, I have got another one on order with her, which is a bunch of three balloons as well. Um, so I'll have a couple of balloons uh, on my t-shirts, which, which I'm buzzing about. So yes, yeah, so it's just a simple blue t-shirt. Now Emily knows I'm not really normally one to step out or step away from a white t-shirt. So we have branched out and there is another, another blue t-shirt actually in this pile. So I'm going to show you that one next actually. So the next one I've got is from Emily's Walt Disney World collection. So this is obviously um, the Hollywood Studios design um, with the sorcerer's hat. And it says Imagination and S, I had to check that then, 1989 on there um, for Hollywood Studios. Again, the light blue with the dark blue stitching and it's just beautiful. Emily's work is always fantastic and having seen everything she does and all the hard work she puts into it when I saw her this weekend couldn't be prouder um, so the next one is from one of Emily's new collections it is the Halloween collection Halloween Girl at Heart so Emily knew that the first the first test of this t-shirt had to be done on a white t-shirt and it had to be mine look at him oh my gosh so we have a Mickey pumpkin and let me let me see if I can bring that a bit closer so you can see all the detail on that literally oh my god she got it so perfect and I literally cannot wait to wear this in Disneyland Paris um, in October on my October trip I'm so excited I've got my matching pumpkin ears at the ready and I literally can't wait she's the designs in the Halloween range are all amazing but I mean Mickey pumpkin for life and then the next thing I got, so this is actually my first jumper from uh, Kingdom Threads Co. And I actually got to watch this being stitched out because uh, she did it for me whilst I was there. And it is the Disney Di Disneyland design on a grey jumper. So this is the pastel version. And just look at the detail in that. This, is, this design takes such a long time to stitch out. So I think Emily wanted to murder me when I said I wanted this one. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful and it's just on a grey jumper, but these are so comfy. I'm not really a jumper person, um, but I, I thought, yeah, do you know what? Let's try it. And I literally wore it the day after I got it and it's just so comfy and I just love it. So yes, that is my Kingdom Threads Co items. And what I'll do is I will link Emily's shop below if you haven't checked it out. I believe all of the designs are still available however I think some of the colours are out of stock so it's always worth checking on her website to see what she has and hasn't got. So I'm trying to think where to go next. The next item I've got 
I actually bought this off eBay. Um, again, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the Spirit Jersey. And one of the ones I was really good at that I didn't put in, well, I didn't get to put in my collection at the time, was the Millennial Pink Jersey. Now, this came up on eBay and I think it cost me like £30. It's perfect condition and it was from Pet Free Smoke Free Home so I knew it was going to be quite good and yeah I'm just really really pleased that I've been able to add this to my collection so it's just got the oh I'm knocking everything off um just got the uh the d with the epcot ball mickey type thing on the front but yes yeah, so it's just this is quite an old jersey now from quite an old range but like I said before, I like to have something from each collection and I've got the ears already, but I just, I really like this and I'm just really pleased that I was able to pick it up. And then the next two things I've got are from Project Magic Co. And Neil is absolutely amazing. I adore all of her stuff and she actually sent me through two things recently. The first this gorgeous print so this is actually a magic shot that was taken in Walt Disney World and she's turned it into one of the cartoony picture things um, and done it as a print for me and I just love it like the detail on it is incredible I'm literally just waiting for a frame to arrive and I can't wait to get it on the wall it's just I just love it so much it's so pretty so detailed um, yeah it's gorgeous and to go with that I got one of her do it for the gram phone cases so with these you send her the pictures that you would like on it and she does them in the cartoon design so I got me at the bubblegum wall the picture I just showed you the magic shot in front of the castle of me and Mike and then me and Mickey at the bottom and it's just gorgeous I just love it I really struggle with phone cases um, because I drop my phone all the time so I need to have a decent one on there and I've never found sort of, unless it's an otter box which are really expensive and you don't really get a good range of them here in the UK, I've never found a Disney phone case that has been decent so this one covers all around the phone and it's just really really good quality and to have my own pictures on the back of it as well is amazing so i will drop a link to uh, project magic co's website below she has loads of designs if you want to check her out and then i'm looking around the final thing that i have now these are a present off my lovely husband i was umming and ahhing for a little while of whether i wanted them or not and i kept going backwards and forwards and he was just like do you know what i'll just buy them for you because they're really cute so it is the adidas goofy trainers that have just been released and they do these in in red or white and i went for the red ones so they've got goofy all around them and they're just adorable um i'm normally a nike air force one girl uh, but i really like these and they're really comfy so i'm hoping to break them in and be able to wear them in disneyland paris but yeah i just really like them i thought they were so cute i'm not entirely sure if these were actually supposed to be men's but like they do like a whole range of sizes so i'm gonna say that it's fine for me to wear them too um, but i don't really care they're cute they're disney i like them so i'll wear them so yeah, that does com complete my magic mail um, for the last week or so. Uh, I did end up with quite a lot actually when I look around me and there is still some more to come. I've got some really exciting magic mail that's on the way that I can't wait to share with you. Uh, but for now, that is it. So if you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below and I will see you all soon. Bye!